Hello guys, here in this video I'm going to show you guys how to sell your items or gadgets on your Android phone. Um, I already made a video on how to do it on the tablet using the iPad mini, so you, if you want to see that, go ahead and see it. But this time I want to use the Android phone to let you know how it, how it works. Um, also, make sure if you're going to sell something on eBay, make sure you have PayPal uh, account already done. Um, that's free and it's totally secured. I've been using it for over 10 years already and it's been perfect for me. So guys, um, let's go ahead and start. For this video, I'm going to go ahead and put on sale on Sonic All-Star Racing Transform. Um, I sell a lot on eBay because that's how I get my gadgets and that's how I get my games when I need when I want to get a new games I don't I don't get nothing for free so that's how I get my stuff if you guys are asking um, but first let's go ahead and open up the eBay app uh, the eBay app is awesome on Android looks very nice and has been updated very very awesomely so once you once you're already logged in once you're always gonna be there logged in so you would go there right here where it says sell an item you go there here you go ahead and start and like you can see here it has the option for you to write in the title of anything you're gonna sell if it's a cell phone or anything or you have if you have a package and the package has a barcode you can also choose here to activate the barcode scanner and it's gonna use the back facing camera so let's go ahead and use it so you guys can see and like you see right here I'm gonna use um, this barcode right here and all you gotta do is place it right there and that's it let's see if it actually uh, recognizes the product sometimes it's not gonna work sometimes it will just not recognize what you're selling uh, maybe it could be because the item is very very old or maybe it's because the item is very 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 new but sometimes it will not work but this time right here it did work like you see right here it prefilled already um, here my title all-star racing transform and it says that it's for the PlayStation Vita um, here it didn't add no picture but if it doesn't add a picture you could add a picture of your own and let's see what else did it add on um, category also got the category correctly uh, condition uh, make sure to be honest if your product is not new don't put that's new okay uh, make sure you put um, describe as best as you think your item is um, this item is not new it's open so let's go ahead and put like new and like you see there every time you enter something it will automatically save um, here let's go ahead and enter a photo you can either go ahead and google a photo of the item you're selling and choose that photo or you could go ahead and just go ahead and tap there and choose camera and let's try to take a good photo here right there and like you see right there that's a pretty good photo let's go ahead and save it and right here is going to tell you if you want to crop it of course the better I can display the the best it is right there let's go ahead and save it and now you got your photo let's, uh, like you can see you could use the app landscape mode as well here sometimes it's better to use it this way but I'm gonna go ahead and keep on using it this way um, here product detail you could view the product detail it will automatically choose since we scanned it the barcode it will automatically choose the detail right there um, add description this is optional but I'm gonna go ahead and add something okay once you're done let's go ahead and save it there uh, specific item specific this is optional you could go ahead and do it if you want you don't have to but for example I could go ahead and here cho choose release year uh, 2012 is not there so I'm not gonna choose it uh, region code since this is a game and some games are not compatible with Japanese consoles and all that so let's go ahead and use uh, US and Canada and that's it we all don't have you don't have to enter that much there um, here in listing type of pricing you could either choose the auction or fixed price 
Um, sometimes I, I, I rather go fixed price that way I list the item on the price that I would actually take um, sell it for um, if you do auction uh, what it's gonna be it's gonna be a bidding war between everybody who wants the game and sometimes you might get the risk of selling it without below the price that you would actually get it for but I, I honestly I'm gonna go ahead and go fixed price and fixed price I'm gonna go ahead and put here a price that I want to sell it to and for example I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, like twenty to one dollars and here you can either choose to add a best offer I don't want to do that I only have one here let's go ahead and put ten days um, here you could choose to start immediately or you could go ahead and schedule a start time I'm gonna to choose to start immediately here uh, just make sure you you the payment method you have selected is PayPal it's obviously is gonna be the only choice is gonna let you um, do um, but here let's go ahead here I'm gonna choose to require immediate payment why because um, back in the days um, some people used to um, when this option was not available some people used to buy something and sometimes takes take forever to pay the item or sometimes they would regret to pay the item and they would not even send you an email or telling you that they don't want to buy it but with this when I choose require if the person doesn't pay the item right away it won't the item will keep being so on sale it will not be taken away from the listing so honestly I rather choose an immediate payment um, okay here in chipping and handling I could go ahead and choose any chipping and handling that I want just remember uh, most of the times when you use this app over and over again it will always remember like all your last settings with, so it can make it easier for you um, here right now I got calculated uh, first person sh first first class package okay let me go ahead and edit that uh, here business one business day uh, calculated I'm gonna choose a flat same same cost to everybody I'm gonna choose um, first class right now you could choose any class you want you could choose priority but when it's a small item like this like a, a game or a, a movie on a DVD or a CD or something like that small and I know that the price is gonna be like um, four dollars or less I uh, always use um, first class if it's something that if it's an if it's an item like a cell phone or or tablet or something like that that's gonna be big and and you're gonna choose um, for, uh, I recommend using priority um, here let's go ahead and choose a flat uh, price I'm just gonna choose something small only I'm good just gonna put the cost 150 uh, you could put whatever amount you want there if you want to charge five dollars six dollars seven dollars for chipping that's on you but just keep in mind you if the person sees the price of the chipping the most likely they're gonna make sure the chipping is low and if it's very high your item is not gonna sell uh, another thing you can also do you can sometimes put it the chipping for free and you can add the cost of the chipping on the price of the game that's some that's a strategy that a lot of people use and sometimes I use it myself too because some people they like to see the the word free so once the free attracts everybody or cheap cheap chipping so that's what I'm gonna do on this time I'm gonna put cheap only 150 to for the chipping and that's it so now you're done here let's go ahead and save okay now I'm done with the chipping um, here international no international I'm um, here my item location I got already El Paso Texas if you live somewhere and it's there your location is not there you should enter your location that way the buyer sees that okay it's being shipped from United States not from China or not from Europe or something like that so they they know they have confidence that they will get it um, secure, um, um, promptly um, here I don't return policy you could choose not to accept returns or you could choose to accept returns I'm gonna go ahead and choose accept returns uh, that also creates confidence on the buyer as well uh, just think of, uh, of yourself if you buy something you actually have the option want the option to return it if it's not good right so here I'm gonna go ahead and put 14 days um, action given refund given I'll give money back or money back or exchange 
but I'd rather go money back. Um, who pays the chipping, the buyer or the seller? I'm gonna put the buyer, and that's it. But you could put the seller if you want to there too. And that's it, just make sure everything looks the way you want it to look. The pictures right there, you can add more pictures if you want, but everything looks good. So let's go ahead here and press continue. Okay, here is a page where you can review your item. Right here, here's the price, here's my payment method, required, immediate payments, 10 days, uh, chipping, first class, $1.50. Here you got your insertion fees, um, only five cents, uh, picture pack only if for free. So I'm gonna be charged only five cents for listing this item. Uh, let's go ahead and if you accept everything, just go ahead and list. And you're done, item published. Would you like to view your item? Yes. And that's it. That's how you post something on sale on eBay. Like you see there, automatically it's already on sale. So anybody could go now online and, and on eBay and see it. And I'm telling you guys, this is how I sell my stuff. This is how I get my um, gadgets when I want gadgets. And believe me, it's a uh, um, eBay does charge you a fee after you sell the item, but it's something very very low. And but still worth it. It's way you're gonna get way more money selling your games or item on eBay or Amazon than trading in, in on GameStop or some other store like that. Believe me, I've done this for years. And it's way better. I rather sell it here, and that's it. And like you see here in the bottom, if you want to cancel your selling, you could end item. You could revise your item if you want to make any changes, and you could sell some another similar item here. You could also share your item, uh, for example, on Facebook or or uh, Twitter, so your friends can see that you're selling something. Maybe they want to buy it. Um, also, uh, make sure, keep in mind that if you choose to auction instead of buy it now, um, you can't revise your item once there is a bid. Once there is a bid, you can't go back and change things. So it would let you change some things, but not most of the times it won't let you change um, any, any, everything. So just keep that in mind. And that's it guys, so that was a look on how to sell your items or gadgets on eBay very easily on your smartphone like you see right there, it was very fast like in less than 10 minutes you could do it. And that's it, so guys, till next time guys.